getting ready to go pick up our surprise. Can't wait to bring it back to the farm. Excited to have new member or members. You'll see when we get them on the farm. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So this little doodad right here is basically a, a water spigot for certain um, farm animals. You uh, drill a three-quarter inch hole into a bucket and you slowly turn it in there until you get it to the point where you want it. And you can put a back nut on if you want to. So you take a clean bucket, you install this in there, put your lid on it. Keeps the water fresh for the new farm animals that we're going to get. Can you put a, a hose on it and a float to make it like you a... You can put a... Um, what I'm automatic gonna water? I'm going to put an automatic water above it. So when it gets to a certain level, I'm going to have a water hose running through the bucket. So when it gets to a certain level, it'll kick back on. And they'll constantly have water. It's kind of like we do with the puppy dogs. And I have one on over here in the goats. That um, as they drink it, it kicks back on. It kind of keeps the water fresher. And they don't never run out. That way, if for some reason we, we're not home or something, they constantly have water. And when we get home, we just dump them out. We scrub them up, you know, with a brush and clean it all. And we dump them back out and then we let them fill back up. So kind of a daily process in the morning and the evenings. But these little... Um, these little things are pretty cool. You can um, train certain animals to uh, take and get there, and they just take their and they and then a water comes out and they drink it. And that way, you can keep the water fresh. You can keep the bugs out of it. You can keep them from flipping it over um, because certain farm animals do flip their water over. And then you have a mess. So if you want to keep, you know, like you get your kennels and your pens clean. Put them automatic waters, put them on a little nipples, and it kind of helps out with the, the water consumption and, and keeping it clean. On our way, guys, to get our little surprise. Looks like it's a beautiful day, thank God. comments before we get it say what you think we might be going to get on our way such a beautiful day are you excited about our new surprise mark uh, yes how excited are you excited you don't sound real excited. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Men and women handle things differently. I'm ecstatic. I'm so excited. Can't wait to meet our new baby or babies. Uh, stay tuned to find out. Look, guys. Did you figure it out? This is the surprise. How exciting. <laughs> New little members of our family now. You got to help me name them. Comment. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Hey, sweet babies. You showing me a good side, girl? You show me a good side? What we got there, Dodo? What mom and daddy brought home? Huh? Some little oink oinks. Little be pee pig piggies. See, I love the pigs. I think they're so cute. The male is the little one. The female is the big one. Help us name them, guys. They're so cute. I'm going to show you where we're going to put them in just a minute while they're small. And then we'll move them. When they get a little bit bigger, have a better arrangement for them. But right now, this will keep them in a more enclosed area so they can't dig out so easy. So. We got these two breeders here. This little, this little guy right here. We went and checked out the big boar. And he was his daddy. 150 pounds. His daddy was huge. He's a monster. And he's only three years old. And then the little girl 
Her mom was probably 500 yeah, or better, 550. Just, <laughs> I mean, they stout, stout looking. Pivot. Are you so you camera shy, little fella? So we are gonna get them settled in and get them cleaned up. And of course, they had a long ride, so yeah, we got to give them some fresh water. Unfortunately, and them, they threw up and poo pooed in here. Yeah, we're we gonna do. We're gonna get them settled in, and we'll be back with y'all. A little bit please like and subscribe and check it out and um we're asking if you <laughs> what what should we name them so let us know in the comments what to name them look guys look how cute they are they're so cute you already got your nose all nasty you been rooting what you got in there daddy's gonna get y'all some food He's opening your bag right now. Hey, Tari. And I mean to scare you. Come on. So, little boy, little girl. Say, I'm the little girl. I'm the little boy. And another video, Daddy can explain more of what they are, what type of pigs, and all that good stuff. What y'all think, guys? Aren't they so adorable? They're doing their thing. Look, they're in their natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Come see me. Come see me. We'll give them a little while to get. Go to them and get my handful. See if they'll befriend you. They're probably not going to come right now. They, they, nah, they, they kind of in culture shock. Well, just put them right there. Put a little bit of food right there for them. Give, give them a little time. They're a little scared. Just put food. Stay right there with him for just a second. Look at him rooting. I sprayed a little water on there before I put him in there because I know they like it cool. What is that, Jin Jin? Checking out your new neighbors? Huh, Ginger? <laughs> and of course, Stinky is. He wants to know what's going on. What's going on, Stinky? Huh? What's going on, buddy? <laughs> 